Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can make this model using a drawing. So we have a drawing for this and we are going to use all the dimensions from drawing and then we are going to create the model for this in part modeling. So you can see this is the drawing we have and uh, let's get started. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just go to new file and select a part model. Okay, so I'll just click. Okay. So now we are into a part modeling workbench and now if I see the model you can see here uh, I'm going to make this profile you can see here top side whatever the profile we have so this profile I'm going to create first and then we can go into other stuff okay so I'll just go to sketcher in my mind and uh, I will select XY plane which is a front plane and I'll just click okay and now I'll just go to rectangle and uh, I'll just select a three point rectangle and let me create this rectangle okay so whatever this dimension we have is 37.5 okay let me fit this and you can see 37.5 and uh, whatever this dimension we have is uh, 40 mm okay here it is 20 so 20 multiplied by 2 so this is 40 okay so then uh, we have two circles here so i'm going to draw these circles and they are with a distance of 17.5 mm and this distance is 18 mm okay so i'll just go to circle and uh, i'll just draw two circles okay and the radius for one is so you can see here one is diameter 8 and another one is that the distance is 2 mm so we can just provide it as a 12 mm okay so one is 12 mm and another one is 8 mm okay so now the distance here is uh, from this center to this it is going to be 18 mm okay so and uh, from this point to this it is going to be 17.5 okay so all these dimensions are given the drawing okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, create two more circles on this side and now let me make it equal so i'll just go to equal and these two should be equal click apply and this should be equal with this okay <coughs> now uh, i'll just make them horizontally aligned so this point and this point should be horizontal so we don't need to provide the distance here now let me give this distance from here to here so we can also do this by uh, mirroring but i'm not doing it mirror so i'll tell you later why i'm not doing this in a mirror okay so now uh, if you check the drawing you can see here there is an arc here with a 45 degree angle and then there is a line here so i'm going to draw a line first okay so this is going to be my line and uh, this is going to be my one more line okay and then there is an arc here so let me create an arc so this arc should be start from here and uh, it should be here so let us make this tangency here okay this is tangent to each other so now the angle here is uh, 45 degree you can see this is a 45 degree angle so let me give this angle okay so this i'm going to give it as 45 so now whatever this and this line should be tangent to each other so let us make tangency between this and this okay So now they are tangent okay so now whatever the you know drawing i have done here i'm just going to mirror it so i'll just go to mirror these two curves with the center line this okay now i need to trim this line so this is not required so press t and trim this okay so this is the profile we need okay so i have not done the mirror because once i trim this here also it will get trimmer so that is why not done the mirror part so now uh, i'm going to mirror this on the other side so we'll just go to mirror and select this curves okay 
okay so these curves and my center line will be this and click okay so you can see uh, this is the profile we need uh, for this uh, model so i'll just finish the sketch so once this is done uh, i need to extrude this so i'll just go to extrude command so go to extrude and i'm going to select the connected curves with stop and intersection so this is the connected curve and i'm going to select this outer profile okay so this is the profile we need to give and the length is going to be 10 mm and you can just click okay so you can see the length is given over here 10 mm okay so once uh, this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to sketcher environment and i will just make this profile you can see this is the profile we need so what i'll do is i'll just go to sketcher environment now go to sketch and select the front plane okay so once i select this i will draw the profile here whatever the profile i can able to see here this profile i'm going to draw so let me go to profile and draw this profile So later what we can do is we will just uh, make it constraints okay so this is the profile so now this dimension is going to be 15 mm so now we can see here this is the 15 mm okay and whatever from this point to this the distance is 30 okay and then from this to this the distance is going to be 75 mm and whatever this distance is going to be 18.8 okay so all these dimensions are there in the drawing so you can just check it so now you can see this is not up to here so i'll just delete this and let me create a corner here okay so now this dimension is going to be 30 okay so then whatever this distance and this is going to be equal okay so now this is the simple profile we need on this uh, sketch so we'll just finish the sketch so once i finish the sketch i'm going to do the next route for this so the extrude length is going to be you can see here 20 mm so we are going to make it as 40 and it should be symmetric okay i'll just select this sketch and make it as a symmetric and this is going to be 40 mm and should be united with the body okay so similarly what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a mirror for this whatever we have done i'm just going to make a mirror okay so let's go to mirror and select this extrude and my plane is going to be this plane okay okay so once this is done uh, now what i'm going to do is uh, you can see in the drawing so there is a slope here so this material we have to remove so if you see from the top side we have uh, this so we need to make a cutout here so that i'm going to do it now so for that i'll just go to sketcher environment on this particular plane okay and now i'll just draw a line here okay from this point to this okay and then uh, there is a distance here from this point to this it is going to be 12.5 mm okay and now this is completely constrained so this is the material we have to remove so in order to remove this material i have to close this uh, profile so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just take a line from this end point okay and i'll just make this closed profile okay so now we can just uh, mirror this so how we will do just go to mirror and select connected curves and then center line okay so now finish the sketch and now i'm going to do extrude and remove the material so go to extrude and it should be in the opposite direction okay and now subtract so once this is done uh, we need that the same thing on the other side as well so how we will do we'll just mirror the feature so just go to mirror feature 
and select this plane okay so now you can see from the top side we have got this profile so now what i'm going to do is you can see here these are the some cutouts we have so these cutouts i'm going to create a profile okay so for that again i will just go to the same plane so this you can do it in a single shot itself so you can just uh, make these extrude on the this extrude along with these which are also so but just i'm just doing it in a separate extrude okay so i'll just select this plane or maybe this plane and i'll just click okay So let me go to sketcher now I'll just select this and whatever the horizontal line is there I'll just provide this okay so let's click ok so now uh, you can see here uh, this is the profile we have so let us create that now whatever the you know um, distance here it is 5 mm it is given over here so what I'm going to do is I'll just draw three lines with collinear okay so this is the first line second line and third line so there are multiple ways you know you can create this so i'm doing just doing this okay so they are collinear to each other okay so suppose if i move rotate one and uh, the other one is also will going to rotate so now what i'm going to do is i'll just uh, make a distance here so from here to here it is going to be 5 mm okay so similarly i'll do this on the other side so i'll just go to mirror and select all these curves and i'll just mirror with this one okay and let me close this so i'll just close this with these lines okay so once this is done if you see the drawing uh, there is a 5 mm distance everywhere and this is 15 mm 15 mm and this is 10 mm so we'll just provide that so whatever the distance from here to here it is going to be 5 mm and whatever the distance from here to here it is going to be 15 mm okay so now let us move this outside okay and the distance between this to this is going to be 5 mm and distance between this to this is going to be 15 mm okay and now again let us move this outside between these two it is 5 mm and whatever the distance is here it is 10 mm okay so this is the you know profile we have we can see here all the dimensions are uh, you know defined and it is in dark color so now i'm going to give a fillet here so this fillet is going to be radius of 2 uh, you can see here radius of 2 with uh, an on 12 sides so let us give that so go to fillet and uh, enter 2 mm and start providing the distance here okay So once this is done we have two options now so whatever the sketch we have created we can just mirror it on this side and then we can extrude it or else we can be extrude and whatever the feature that we have extruded that we can able to mirror so in some cases you need to create a minimum number of features over here in the part navigator so in that case it is always better to mirror it in the sketch itself okay so we'll just go to sketch and select these curves and I'll unselect these two okay and then center line this is going to be my center line okay and now finish the sketch and this I'm going to create an extrude and it's same it is downward direction and it should be removed material okay 
so now let me hide this and hide this sorry this is what we need okay so once this is done we have left with only few features so now we have a cylinder here so this cylinder i'm going to create so let me go to extrude and on this plane okay and this we have a circle here so this circle with the diameter of 7.5 and the distance from this point to this is going to be 7.5 sorry okay so let's finish the sketch and the length for this extrude is going to be 15 mm okay so it should be unite and the length is going to be 15 mm so this you can just make a mirror so let go to mirror feature and select this extrude my plane is going to be this okay so finally uh, we have one sketch and uh, this is the holes we have so this holes i'm going to create it now so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just reverse this if you reverse this it will be easy for us to give the dimensions so now i'll just go to extrude and select this plane okay and here i'm going to create a circle with a diameter of 5 and whatever the distance from this point to this is going to be 5 mm and whatever the distance from this to this it is going to be 8.8 okay 8.75 so we will just provide 8.75 here so i'm going to mirror this so go to mirror select this circle and my central line will be this so let's finish this sketch and i'm going to create a hole so extrude and it should be on the reverse direction subtract okay so once this is done we have uh, some holes here so these holes we need to create so we'll just go to before going to extrude i will just create a circle here so go to sketch and uh, select this now i'll just go to circle and this diameter is going to be you can see here 30 diameter okay so i'll just finish the sketch and uh, these holes along with this i'll just remove the material so i'll just go to extrude and connected curves these are the curves i'm going to select okay so once it is done you can just click ok so now i'll just hit ctrl w and switch off everything show only solid bodies and this is our body okay so this is how we can make this uh, model guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys